All right, second page. The key when you get a story problem like this, John, is to look at it and really take it and identify your similar triangles. And so what I've suggested to my classes at the past is to take your pictures, which here we have a flagpole casting a shadow and a person on a backpack casting the same shadow. And the idea is you have two triangles that are similar. So here's my suggestion. Off to the side, draw your two triangles separately. Here's our little triangle. The guy's six feet and his distance is 10 feet. The big triangle, the long bottom is 32 and the height is unknown. I have found when people do this and break it into two triangles, Justin, consistently, it's not as confusing. Because here when they look at this big one, all of a sudden they're not sure what is corresponding with what. So, all right, raise your hand if you think you can give me a ratio. Someone besides Luis and Noah and Taylor and Caroline. Someone else, Dylan. Six over ten. Six over ten. Would you agree? He did little over little, big over big. Did he do corresponding sides? So we're good. All right, let's set it up. Six, 32, <laughs> 10, zoom tight, H. Uh, help me here, check me. I think that's 192. Can someone check it? 10H. We divide both sides by 10. What does H equal? How much? All right, 19.2. And what's our units of measure? Feet. Feet. Okay. The key to these kind of problems is going to be to set up different triangles that relate to the per the. the part without trying to stick to the same triangle in there. So, all right, down to the bottom. A blueprint. Scale is one inch to nine feet. Do you have any idea what they're talking about? So on a blueprint, if you were to measure a blueprint, and for every inch on the blueprint, every inch represents nine feet. So if you measured a blueprint, it was two inches, then that's how many feet? 18. So. The ratio is 1 to 9. In other words, blueprint to reality. Okay, that's the ratio, 1 to 9. So what we need to say is 1 is to 9 as 2.5 is to blank. Because I want to figure out how big this room is it's 2.5 inches by 3 inches. So it's really two problems. First I do the 2.5, then I do the 3. Now solving this is very easy. Cross multiply, you get 1x, and someone multiply for me. What is 9 times 2.5? How much do I get? 22.5? So 22.5 feet. So my first dimension is 22.5 feet by Let's set up the other one. 1 is to 9. Instead of 2.5, now what am I putting in? 3 is to y. I'll call it y for the other variable. 1y equals 3 times 9. Gabe, what's 3 times 9? 3 times 9? 27. 27. So my other dimension is 27 feet. So how big is my room? 22 and a half by 27. Well, I'm trying to show you with a simple illustration of a, of a scale, but the scale might not be really easy one to nine always. A typical scale is a quarter of a foot, or a quarter of an inch equals one foot. And so the, the ratio would be one quarter over one. So it all depends on what the scale is here. I realize this scale is very straightforward, but yeah, you're right. You're multiplying nine times that and nine times three. When the scale is easy, it's really straightforward. Okay? So, 